country people, I don't come again with another Ogbonge to we. Apostle Uyinosa, talk him as he be. A pa Apostle Uyinosa, don't come at. Come tell Tinibu in life history. He tell him the truth of his life. Say, this thing where they happen so, you just enter one day, eh? Fuel don't begin scarce for inside our country, say, Tinibu self, he not even with the election, he just carry himself, he force himself, put for dead, Jagaban. Hey, my people, he don't give a woto woto for inside this video, my people, eh? And what are we about who you know, sir, they talk for inside this video? Very truth, eh, my people. If you don't see who tell the truth, now we are about come out, come tell, Bola, Tinibu Ahmed, una president, we are on board, so, come tell her a life story now i say me i carry this matter come give una anything you want a reason about this very video where a pa make so eh? make una comment down below share the video as well guys and i gotta put a link on top of this video make una help me follow a page god bless you all enjoy the video guys the street commissioner yes what a way of uh, hitting the ground running wow president tinubo good morning to you sir you are no longer the president-elect. Uh, though you are not the choice of the people, though the people did not choose you, you are finally forced your way into it, into uh, into governance. No shaking. So, uh, what a way to hit the ground running. To just your first broadcast, not to remove fuel subsidy. I am not against the removal of fuel subsidy. Why you not remove custom from road? immediately why you not open border immediately as part of way to hit the ground running your broadcast yesterday was to say bam I, I i i i open up the border all the border that was closed i yet by open it that that was supposed to be your first de uh, decree to decree that word you will decree that word so that we will know that you are actually ready to hit the ground running. The next thing, you remove first subsidy, then never break. The very moment where they put you in, where you put yourself, let me use that language. The next thing, how the police station not close down. People are not trekking. People don't feel go work again. What a way to hit the ground running by bringing hardship in your very first job inauguration. Are we in a, a, a military regime? We are not against it at all. But as you hit the ground running, you should have also opened up the border that was closed down. Then the the uh, import duty, you remove, you you slash slash it down. Well, yeah. Well, because not the only subsidy be the problem in this country. You would have given a decree. To say from today, the, the, the more, uh, import duty, money be paid for import duty, you take it back to the, the, the way it was before. Then you make a decree that my fed in office, bag of rice, should go back to 17,000 era. Yes! Yes! You make that decree. Now, removing subsidy, we are not against it. Automatically, problem have started. Hardship have started. So people can no longer feed anymore. If you see road this morning now, people they track. Thank God be said, I am happy that both everybody on the NPC, all of us will be on the street tracking. I may allow my brother talk this morning. So God think of say in 2011 when good luck Jonathan one remove first subsidy now the Tinubu now even start the protest against Jonathan. I, I I sincerely think that the APC leadership needs to apologize to Nigerians and also need to apologize to good luck Jonathan. Why is that? For misleading Nigerians. If the APC knew that subsidy removal is the way for the way forward in Nigeria, why they can't prevent uh, Jonathan from removing subsidy? Eleven years ago. Eleven years ago. If Una no say 
that one are the best of the country. Oh, now one time me say all of a sudden, and now I know say uh, su uh, subsidy removal are the best. So I feel like the leadership of APC, oh, all Nigerians, immediate apology, shop, shop. and all the PDP uh, government apology. They should apologize to all PDP. And also, oh, good luck, Jonathan, and uh, his executive member, the apology for fighting what was right for the nation as a dame that is that would be the first way to eat the ground running before you go talk about the subsidy remover because you cannot fight against what you fought against no you fought against first subsidy you cannot expect that others will not fight against first no, subsidy. Fight you. so if you want others not to fight against the first subsidy remover you are supposed to apologize to them Admit that that decision was the right decision and apologize for fighting the right decision, then Nigeria will not have problem. Then number two, even though I agree that with the way Nigeria did now, my I agree, say removal first subsidy now the way forward. But I disagree, say you go remove first subsidy on the first day of your inauguration. Of your inauguration. So, my people, listen to me very clearly. I agree, say they go suppose to remove first subsidy, but I disagree, say go be on day of inauguration because we're not the military regime at all. They're not the do declaration. One would have expected that your inauguration, you would tell us again that you are removing first subsidy. Then you would do a follow up broadcast to tell us why Nigerians should allow you remove first subsidy because Nigerians would they listen then. Then the third one, maybe for that second one, you also tell us the benefit of the removal of the first subsidy. And where you are going to channel the money to. And where you are going to channel the money to. And I is going to be of help to us as a country. Then you will remove her. Not be say on the first day, you just remove her. No senate, no uh, ah. no minister, nothing. Only you, one man right here, you remember. Nigeria is not Lagos state. At all. Nigeria is not one state. Nigeria is a, 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 a is comprises of 36 states and the FCT so you, you cannot just use your uh, uh, veto power and just remove it like that secondly even assuming if that's what you mean by hitting the ground running I want to say that there are other ways you could also have hit the ground running without problem without problem and Apostle just mentioned a few of them now there's already a ship in the land you are removing subsidy as a way of hitting the ground running. What about other major challenge that we are having in this country? Like double taxation, for example. Or, the port. or multiple taxation. Cost of, cost of food everywhere for road. Person don't collect goods for wolf. Cost of CD road, they extort money. And many other things. Border. Why you not open border? No, the eating the ground running. Now leave subsidy remover. Why you not declare another positive things when Nigeria goes to see? They'll say okay, okay. Then again, I feel like as leaders, we have to be sensitive and strategic. You know, religious leaders have been doing a whole lot to make sure that uh, the tension already in the land. Religious leader, traditional leaders, and other uh, uh, human rights uh, activists that they try to make sure say the tension where they the land no escalate. Then this your <laughs> declaration <laughs> now they heighten the tension where they already did on ground. I feel like people that are close to you need to tell you there's already tension in the land. Why will you give that kind of uh, 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 announcement on your first day? No, sir. To cut uh, to, uh, sorry, I don't cut word from you, man. Another way of hitting the ground running. Why not declare state of emergency on our federal road? To say I want to hit the ground running by ensuring that Binelti Road and the contractor go back to site immediately. The Bini Chaplain Road, where contractor go back to site immediately. Then the uh, Agba Uromi Road that the former president uh, approved for the uh, 80 billion era. To say now, I want to hit the ground running by ensuring that contractor return back to those roads immediately. And you are coming out with to tell us that you are removing subsidy. Thereby increasing hardship. The very moment you sworn yourself into power because you get never the choice of the people. 
You were never the choice of the people. But the fact that the people decide to keep quiet doesn't mean that we are fools. The fact that the, the men and women keep quiet doesn't mean we don't know what we are doing. You were never the choice of the people. Now, sir, since you force your way into the people, what you would have done as a leader is to ensure that you reduce the tension. Yes. Is to ensure, sir, when you will make the verge, you go, you go pipe low. Because you don't really impose yourself on the people. Because you were never the will, you were never the choice of the people. I don't even understand. Yeah. So since you don't force yourself at that particular time, what you would have done, those things when they make them the verge, those things when they cause hardship, you will quickly address them. Yes. They want to show that ah, this man be forcing himself into us, so, but the see policy will not put for granted. Now you force yourself into us and you want to make life miserable for us. Mm -mm. Oh, sir, yeah. God not asleep. The fact that God did not stop your inauguration shows that there is something God wants to do. But you can't just start your inauguration with hardship. See people this street, they, they track. Now let's stop sitting the move at the and you know the funny thing? So basically they say, give me benefit of doubt, give me benefit of but you know say we give Buhari benefit of doubt. When Buhari came on board, our ex-president, and one of the foremost things he did was to close the border completely. Yes, we suffer for eight years. We gave him the benefit of doubt. Where did that lead us to? That lead us to where we did. So, so of course, all the economics have given the advice that subsidies should be removed. But I feel like the timing is wrong. That is my emphasis. Am I against subsidy removal? No. no. But is this the right timing? No. no. There's tension in the land. So that kind of declaration ought not to be removed, to be made on the first day. And if a threat will be made, then other modalities would have been put in place to at least alleviate the hardship in the time being or for the time being. Where are those persons who came out? Professor Walesho Inka, I would call of Unane Command. Pastor Tude Bakari, all of Unane led a protest against former president good luck billy jonathan when he removed the subsidy 11 years ago all of you came out to raise the protest against president good luck billy jonathan but today at Budunak Buwayanu, all of you kept quiet because of tribal sentiment tribal bagots all of you kept quiet i'm waiting for you people to also come out to say no if not god go punish all of you now and if Unano will come and say no, apology, Una need to tender apology. Where did the apology you want to do for our body? Uh, at least he goes to show some level of uh, responsibility. My brother, the fact that they apologize doesn't mean that they know that, that they actually mean what they are do. They actually, they, they actually sorry. At least he go there on record. He not there any record. Sir, even if they apologize, does that apology stop the evil act that they have brought upon the country? See? I am I hereby declare myself the president of Whaler Association of Nigeria. <laughs> yes, so I have declared myself the president of Whaler. We are going to whale until the writing is done. Who na consult? So when I get this plan seen. So my brother, I the verse this morning. Just allow me verse. Mm. You know, say if I the verse, if I don't pour out, he blasting you you won't enjoy me. Allow me pour out my anger. I am speaking on behalf of all Nigerians right now. I don't even understand. Yeah. I am speaking on their behalf. Yeah. You stole our mandate. We said, okay, let the court decide. You understand, so? Yes. We said, okay, we will give you benefit of doubt. So you just come in now. Since you don't force your way to us. The next thing, you are forcing problem into us. Forcing hardship into us. But Who does that? Una need to see even me coming at this morning and not see back. They say no fuel. I trek. Go and reach my junction. No, the food. The, the problem is say where the fuel where the fuel get us at day for us today. Eh, not be the Nigerian syndrome. They all begin the hold on. Now the Nigerian syndrome. Now once they make declaration, everybody begin the hold fuel. And actually, none of us supposed to be like that because all this our filling station. No go fit tell me say the moment they make that declaration, they are fuel coffee. In no. I feel also like another thing where this administration will do eh, they need to look at our filling station very keenly. This idea of holding fuel, holding fuel, holding fuel, 
I don't know, but again, I be like, it feel like say small positive day. Now we don't get our own refinery. Which uh, which of them? Uh, Dangote refinery. Now our own. It don't turn our own. Now. No, that the private refinery. Let me tell you, my brother. Dangote can never sell fuel for for two hundred naira. Where government school not there, they don't go as a private school as the school with the Now everybody get money to go private school. Uh, this private school, so if you know how to go, your picking go be legit. Wait, 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 wait. Now everybody get money to go private school. No, but now because of that one, I make the call bring parable. You know, so you put white brother, because if education is expensive, try ignorant. If you feel say the only private school where they the community, your picking not feel go, uh, make it not go school. <laughs> so everybody, smoking, go pack our motto. <laughs> Everybody pack your cash. It's not our pressure. Pack your car. Our pressure. Pack, pack your, your car. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of nonsense is this? I've been done to control see. myself. I've been sure I don't want to talk. My brother, I go talk. What kind of nonsense is this? The entire person apostle. How you just wake up, make declaration, I you better remove something? Why are you not? Oh shit! No! Hey, shit, Are we in a military regime? Dictatorship! That is a Nigeria. Democracy dictatorship! That is a Nigeria and our state. No, we'll change and follow you. It is a Nigeria and our state. You all wake up. We'll change and follow you. I remove something. We're done. We're done. A power removal. Yes, so my people, we don't come to the ending of this video. I beg. Anything you wanna reason about the video, wanna comment down below. I beg if you never like and follow my page, Sweet Mother G TV, kindly do me a favor, like and follow my page for more updates, for more videos. God bless you or please help me to share the video. Thank you.